Hey folks, Robert H here. I want to talk today about uh, chart time frames and ABCDs. Not a recap per se, but this is just what I observe in the markets today. I've been uh, trying to be a student of the markets during the, this uh, slow summer months. So first topic, time frames. Now a lot of us trade off the one and the five. Um, and that's pretty well suited for retail traders. You know, we like to catch quick moves, 20, 30 cent moves, and, and then we're done at the open, right? Now, there's a group of traders who trade off the two as well. And then there's people who trade off the 10 and there's people who trade off the 15. Now, it's my belief, I have no evidence to prove this, is that retail traders are mostly focused on this side, of the, you know, the one, the two, the five, the 10. Then you have institutional traders, people who are trading for funds and stuff like that. I believe that they're trading off a larger time frame because they're not interested in the noise of the micro movements. They're trading big size and they wanna see clear trends, big picture stuff, right? Maybe they're doing intraday swings, they're holding stuff for two, three hours, who knows, right? This is more important to them. And this is per my personal opinion. I have no evidence to back this up. But what I do know is that there are other chat rooms that use this time frame. That's what they trade off of. Definitely not our room, but we'll slowly becoming that with our 15 minute reversal and everything. But there are rooms out there that just trade purely on this. So that's one, time frames. Now two, ABCDs. After having watched the markets for my very short trading career here and, and, and going through Andrew's program, I'm of the, the belief that the entire market, under the hood, at its core, the gears, the cogs that drive this whole thing, are just ABCDs. So either they take this shape, they take this shape, they take maybe just a straight wedge, maybe a classic bull flag like this, for longs, right? They look like that. And for shorts, you have similar things. You know, they're doing this, they're doing descending wedges, and bear flags, like this, right? And what this represents, in my opinion, so you have stock running up, people people are on board, and then and then there's profit taking, and then it gets to a point, either a support level or a dollar level or something that people determine, this is a good buy again, I'm going along for the next leg up. And then it goes, makes a new high, and then it breaks and keeps going, right? So people are watching this type of pattern on this on similar time frame, or on different time frames, sorry. I'm gonna demonstrate that today, what I saw on WSM. So WSM, you had a series of flags, um, this, this is somewhat of a flaggy looking thing, right? And then people waited to buy the new one minute high. Maybe they bought down here when it hit the 20. That gave it a run up. People started taking profit, consolidate, consolidate. Gets to this point, and then more people start buying. Gives it the next leg up, right? And then people start taking profit, consolidate, consolidate. So in my opinion, this is somewhat of a flag looking thing. This is an uglier one, a wedge type of deal. This is somewhat of an other type of flag. People are going along in the one minute high. Now, not all flags are created equally because, you know, there's not some grand creator drawing these out. This is human psychology you're watching, right? Run up, profit taking, and then next leg up. So what happens on the one minute chart? There's guys waiting for this entry here. They're waiting to get this, right? And then it gives it a pop. The volume comes in, right? And, and people are waiting for these new highs and then the volume comes in. And that gives it, you know, because th they're, they're trying to trade this pattern. But what do you think is happening in the five minute chart at the exact same time? At 10.15, this pattern is forming. This is a wedge. There's people waiting for this high. As soon as this makes a new high, they're going long. So that happened during this one minute chart. That gave it this, and then it gave it the run up here. And at the, at the same time, there's people who see this bull flag. They're waiting for this new high to break, to give it the next leg up. Do you guys see how that works? It's a chain reaction. A little bull flag here creates it gives the pump for this bull flag here, which gives the pump for this bull flag here. I'm going to remove my drawings here and just make it so you guys can see it for yourself, right? This, this, and this. And I believe that's, that, that's, that's how these things come into play because everyone's watching different things, as I said, but we're all watching the same thing. We just don't know it. This is another flag. This is another flag, right? And these are giving new highs to this time frame. And I bet you if we looked on the one minute chart, inside of these are these little micro flags happening all over the place. Let's take a look at XAS. XAS did a similar uh, deal, not as clean, but it did a similar maneuver. So a lot of you guys caught XAS actually at the open, right? This, you guys caught this little flag. You went long on the new one minute high when it bounced off VWAP, whatever you take. And that, that was just an orb. It gave it an orb. That's what Andrew teaches us. Sometimes an orb is just an ABCD. Right? Then you get this gigantic looking thing. I wouldn't call this a flag, but this is an ABCD in my mind. It's a trend continuation. Right? Run up, run up, run up, profit taking, profit taking, profit taking. Hits a support level, people are buying here. Right? That gives it another run up. Profit taking, waiting for the new high, buy here. So here you have 
two formation type deals, right? Then they're waiting for this breakout. So what do you think that's driving here? That There's people looking at this. Let's just ignore the wick here so it looks a bit nicer. People are waiting for this high, either to break this body or to break this wick. Right, they get that, and that from, based off this, the one minute drove this, gave them that, and then other people, maybe they would have seen this as a, as a flag of some sort, not the cleanest looking thing, but they're looking for either a break of the body or a break of the wick. So this momentum then drove this, right, and now you're it's making new highs. Do you guys see how that works there? That's how I view the markets. Anyways, another thing I wanted to mention. So I, I'm showing you longs. I want to show you guys reverse ABCDs and how they take shape. And this is very important because a lot of us are taking reversals here. And re as I mentioned before, reversals can be very dangerous. You're playing with, you're catching knives, right? You're catching the knife. And if things don't work out, if stops get run, bad things happen. Okay, so this is um, this is AKRX. And uh, this thing sold off on some sort of bad news. And as you can see, some people try to catch this reversal here, right? So it caught some steam, it got to here, and then the move started falling apart. Right? It made a new 15 minute low. And then it really started making another new 15 minute low. And then it collapsed. And sometimes you'll see this, you'll see, I'm trying to catch a reversal, right? It gets some steam, little 20, 30, 40 cent pop, starts making new lows, and then boom. This is a reverse ABCD. I, I mentioned this in the chat today and people were saying, I don't see it. I said, okay, what if I showed it to you like this? This is the same chart flipped upside down. Do you see it now? Do you see that this is a, a reverse A, B, C, D, A, run up to B, consolidation, consolidation, people are waiting for the break, and then boom. Now the difference between a reverse A, B, C, D and a regular A, B, C, D in my opinion, are that reverse A, B, C, Ds and regular A, B, C, Ds, that this drop happens faster because people are panicking. This is fear. Right? That's why a lot of people like to trade short because fear is stronger than greed. You rarely see these types of pop-ups because people are hesitant to get in. You know, there's FOMO, there's chasing, but you never get the, the type of move like when the bottom falls out, in my opinion. So anyways, that's ABCDs. That's one five 15-minute charts. Um, just some things that I've been thinking about and observing in the markets lately. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Have a great day.